What's up, party people? I'm John McNeil, and this is Unpeeled. Today, I'm joined by... Saga Sun, Rayshon J, and Danny. All right, so tell the people at home what you do musically. I, anything that really, you know, resonates with me, I make it into music. So that applies to any genre. Yep. That applies to rapping and singing. Anything, just if, if it resonates with me, if I'm feeling can vibe to it, then I'm going I'm to go and I'm going to do it. Go, 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 and fly out of this world. Are you doing everything from scratch? Are you bringing in high guns? Are you relying on your friends? What's going on? Um, for the most part, it's, well, first of all, everything's original work. Yep. The beats, I have help for the most part from other people yep. to supply me with the beats. I, don't, I haven't learned that skill yet. Yeah, right. um, however, I write my own music. Um, I go in, I do my own vocals. Nobody tells me how to do my vocals. I yep. come up with everything myself, and that's pretty much how my process works. Okay, cool. And, and, and how about you guys? Yeah, for me, I don't consider myself an artist. I'm a creative. There you go. So there's no genre. Whatever vibe I'm in in the moment yep. is what I'll create. Music is my way of expressing myself because I don't share my feelings. So We were just talking about that with yeah. a previous artist, that right now you could take artists or, or bands and you could go 10 songs across and every song would be in a different genre. Like what, there's too many genres, there's too many labels these days. Yeah, it, it's, it's a good thing if you're a good artist. Yeah. If you're not, then I don't suggest you try doing different genres, just stick to the one you know. Stick to the one you're good at. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And yourself? Me, I'm, I'm a singer, a dancer. I dabble in rap, but I don't call myself a rapper. Yeah. Uh, but I did start music off with rap, though. Um, me, I just love, I'm inspired by like everything. So like even just from now, just to doing this, to like after just walking away from it, like yeah. everything literally inspires me. So like sometimes it'll take me out of the moment and I'll be just in my head. But like, I just feel like you can be able to make music about anything. Like predominantly I make music about sex. Cause okay. like, I feel like people are, feel like it's too much of a touchy subject yeah. when it really shouldn't be. Cause like it's natural. Like how do you think you got here? Not, not from a test tube, not from a package or something like. Uh, how do you know? How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> if, if you are, I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I try to like make it more like, you know, uh, fun. So like music more like dance like. So I'll talk yeah. about anything as long as you can like dance with, have fun with it. It's me. That's all right. Like everybody's got their own flavor, right? Like, and 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 you should embrace what you're good at. Like yeah. we were just saying. Yeah. So uh, how did how did this friendship form? Oh. Okay. So, high school, grade nine. There we go. I met Rayshon. Found out he was my cousin. So that was In grade the, nine. You found out you were. Yeah, cousin. yeah, that threw me back. I was like, oh, okay. What? I have a cousin now. All right, cool. <laughs> He's our, he was already strongly into the music thing. Yep. Um, I kind of started in middle school, but then I, I wasn't taking it seriously until I met him. And then he was really trying to encourage me because yep. he thought, you know, I, I have potential. And it was kind of like a mutual thing because I had faith in him going far with his musical career just because of how the dedication. Yep. So that's how we became friends close, like, what's, how many years? It's like six, seven years strong now. Yeah, yeah. Um, then this is Danny now. I met Danny this year. And the fact that we became friends is a rare th occurrence because I know more friends for a while now, but then I met him and we clicked like instantly. That's what my wife, my wife Scott is saying. She says, our friend locker is full. Mm. Like, cause there's just so many people you can't like, if you just keep bringing in people, other people don't get the attention, right? Mm -hmm. That's her philosophy. I, my philosophy is bring more in. Let's just keep <laughs> letting people in and having fun. Well, <laughs> I mean, I have kind of opened my mind a bit about friends in general yeah like I'm, I have some friends in general who I you know I'm cool with I talk with them and we can vibe they can come to me with my problems yeah. not necessarily vice versa yeah because I'm more of I keep to myself a little bit but introverted that exactly way. but I'm more than willing to help anybody who has to want has problems want to bring it to me because I have I know all about that <laughs> What's coming up musically? What can people expect? What, did, what should they look for? October 5th, yeah. my single drops on all streaming platforms. It's called NF slash Never Fail. It's this last song I just performed. Yeah. Um, like I said, it's about, you know, I guess as the title implies, never failing, stream, striving for success. Tell yourself you're never going to fail. Make it a rea speak it into reality. Make it a reality. November, I'm dropping another single. And then December, I'm dropping a project. Look out. 
Exactly. And um, I'll have a couple of videos here and there yeah. that will pop up as well. So just pay attention. My social media at Saga Sun. Everything's for me is at Saga Sun. Yep. I claim that name. Nobody else can claim that name. That's me. Period. Go <laughs> just you know, and you'll find all my stuff there, all my updates. I try to keep everybody updated on my social media and stuff like that. Yep. And yeah, that's pretty that's much awesome. Thank you. And congratulations tonight. Thank you. Best yeah. Hip hop award. Yeah. The best artist. That well, was. How's that, feel? that was wild. I was like, when I seen it, I was shocked. I was like, nominations. I never expected to get nominated for anything. I knew I was performing. Yeah. But that was it. <laughs> you didn't know you were nominated. No. Uh, no, I knew like. I knew you were nominated no, I, coming I, here. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I found out like. Um, maybe a week or two ago, oh, okay. I got an email. I said, like, oh, congratulations on your nomination. I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah. And then I looked to my right, and I'm like, Rayshon. <laughs> so we both got nominated. I was like, so the coolest part, though, is people are listening, right? Yeah. You don't get nominated unless people are paying attention. Exactly. That's the biggest part of this whole industry exactly. is people paying attention. And that, that's, right? that's wonderful to me that people really want to listen to my music and believe in my music so much. So not just to nominate me, but for me to win the nomination. Yeah. That is crazy to me. That's awesome. It's, it's wonderful. I love it. I'm appreciative of everything that's happened today. I couldn't be in a better mood. I'm ready to celebrate when I leave here. Like, it's crazy. I'm like, I'm so happy right now. So I won't <laughs> keep you any longer. Thank you so much for your time. Good talking to you. Yeah, you too. All right. Peace out, party people.